guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is having a great day. We are gonna be working on my Evo today. I'm gonna to be finishing the interior on it. This will probably be the last modification unless I get leather Recaro seats. Um, and then I, I'm, I'm probably gonna show you guys a video how I have boost gauges in my new radio that I installed, the stereo, I showed you guys that. Uh, so we'll probably do some boost gauges on that. Uh, besides that though, this is probably gonna be the last uh, interior mod that I do for my Evo 8 our Evo 8, <laughs> Evo 10, I wish I had an Evo 8. I love my Evo 10, but the 8s and 9s, they look good. So on the Evo 10 that I have, it currently has the carbon fiber look uh, plastics around the shifter surround, and then it has a knob on there. It does have a short shifter kit as well, but I'm gonna be finishing it with these products today. So let me go ahead and show you. So what I have over here, and I'm really, really excited to install this. And again, the reason why I did all this gloss black interior on mine was because this tiny little chrome piece right here on my original one cracked. And so I just went crazy and replaced so much of the interior on the Evo. So we're gonna be installing this. I'm gonna show you guys how to install this. Now some Evos on the Evo 10s are different than mine. I've actually did a lot of research on them. Some look like this for the shifter or for the GSR. The um, MRs look different because it has the automatic transmission there. But this one is really cool. So this is gonna be in piano black with a chrome trim. Not much of a fan of the chrome trim, but I did want a piano black to finish the rest of it. It did come with a brand new leather shift boot. Um, so I'm excited to put that on there and then I'm going to be using the um, I always want to say the twin, but that's not what this is. This is a circuit hero. I believe um, Weighted teardrop shift knob and I, they're just amazing. So I've used one on my MR2 um, I had one on my Celica for a little bit and I decided to pick up another one for my Evo and I just absolutely love them if you're wanting a uh, Cold you know head heavy weighted shift knob. They are cold um, but if you want that instead of your original leather one, I highly recommend this. The original leather Evo uh, shift knob actually is very similar to this, where it has a little kind of a little ball on top, um, and, and then it has a smaller teardrop style. This is going to be an amazing upgrade to the OEM one or the one that you have. So first things first, let's go ahead and grab the Evo. Well, the real first things first is we've got to do a little bit of capping. Check this out. This is Ghost. So I love Sour Patch Kids and I love energy drinks. Now they're mixed together. Look at this, zero calories. So we're gonna try this out. <laughs> it's sour. Oh my gosh, blue raspberry. Good stuff, but we need a little bit of caffeine to get this project done. Let's go grab the Evo 10. Okay, so here's the current setup on the Evo. Let's just take a minute to appreciate that door panel. My gosh, that looks good. Everything looks so good. Um, so what we're kind of doing is, as you guys can see, the uh, piano black on the trim over there, and then it has piano black here, and then this is piano black, and then look at that big line difference. So that's what we're gonna be fixing today. So I did get that piece down there, and that's the one that I really wanna do different. And to do this, we're actually gonna have to remove yeah, I was thinking we might have to remove the center console, but I might not have to. It actually might just be a couple Phillips heads down there. So let's go ahead and try to uh, unloosen those Phillips heads, and then I might be able to slide it in. If not, I will have to um, pull away the whole center console, which I, don't, I hope I don't have to do, but I don't think it's that hard. I've done it before. But let's go ahead and uh, do the two Phillips heads on there, and then um, remove this. Also, let's do lefty-loosey on that uh, shift knob um, and get it, get it off as well. Okay, so I ended up having um, to pull this out. It doesn't want to come out. I'm, I'm assuming there's things uh, on the back side of this that screws. So we ended up doing the two 10 millimeters on the back here, undoing those. Now the whole center console should come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the whole center console out and look at underneath this. Okay, so now that I got the center console out, I forget, I have an AEM, look at this. There's an AEM uh, wideband connected in here. This cord, these cords go everywhere. Uh, that being said, um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pull this off. We don't need this. This is going to be the old one. You can see it's all kind of broke and no, no longer good. We'll toss that one away. Um, I got that new shift boot I'm really excited to get installed. We're going to wipe all this up, vacuum this all up, and then we'll go ahead and install the new piano black one inside the garage. I did want to say real quick, if you guys have a loose uh, e-brake or you feel it's not tight enough, you can actually just use a 10 millimeter right here and um, wrench that down and it'll make the e-brake tighter so it's less clicks to have it um, be a tighter, it pulls on the cable right here. Um, I did tighten mine um, about 10 times, so I went around, so I actually lowered it. You, can, you might be able to see where I used to have it and then how much I lowered it to bring it close. And now my e-brake is much tighter, much firmer. So if you do have a loose e-brake, that's a nice quick fix for you while you have this all open. 
So you might not have to take this all out. <laughs> I, I took it all out. I'm gonna clean it and wipe it all down with my nice armor all, make it clean. Um, the way that you get this part out is, is that you just, so right here, you open up where the cup holders are, you open up the glove box, and then, if this thing doesn't tip over backwards, uh, you just literally just yank on it upwards, and there's four, one, two, three, four clips that hold it in, and that's it. So the reason why we need to do that is because we had to expose these um, these ones right here, these uh, these Phillips heads. So let's do Lefty Lucy on these, and then remove that, and then we can just set the new one in there. This is gonna be a really cool, easy install, but before we do that, let's go ahead and wipe this whole center console down and make it look brand new. All right, so there's the old setup. Broken, no good, not matching, carbon fiber, fake. It doesn't look good for mine, it just doesn't work for me. So now I got the new gloss black, which is gonna look amazing. So here's the old setup, the old broken one. Um, the old knob, and then here's gonna be the new one. I cannot wait, look how beautiful that is. So let's go ahead, uh, wipe this down, and then start installing. So I just covered it in uh, Armor Oil Cleaner, which I like to do that, and then I took a uh, microfiber from my web, or microfiber, a uh, detail brush, hold on one second here, from my website, and then what I'm gonna do is just kinda agitate this all into this whole thing, and then make this nice and clean, and then we will take the microfiber from my website, and then um, dry it all, wipe it all down. But what this will do is just give us a nice kind of permanent clean on it. All right, so once I scrubbed all that down with the uh, detail brush, we're gonna take the microfiber from my website, let's grab these, and what I'm gonna do is just take this microfiber and just wipe all this down, and it'll be a nice, 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 nice clean plastic for the interior. Swing by Missouri.com, grab one of these microfibers. All right, let's go ahead and wipe this all down. Now that I got this all clean, it looks so good, it's like mint, look at that. What we're gonna do is just take this new one, and literally all you gotta do is just set it in where the other one went. Look at that, it's a perfect fit. Um, I'm gonna set you guys down, I'm gonna buckle that in. Look at that. But we'll do the two Phillips heads right here, and then we'll go back out to the car, uh, set this on, and this will be pretty much pretty easy. Uh, I'm, I'm in shock that all you had to do was actually just pull up on this part, the middle part. Ugh, I thought that's hilarious. I should've, I should've figured that one out. But I thought it was all one unit. Um, but that being said, let's go ahead and buckle this back up and go back out to the car. Okay, so we've reinstalled the new uh, center shifter, um, surround, and the center console. Um, or armrest or whatever you call this. Wow. So uh, we put the two 10 millimeter bolts back on. I do recommend uh, if you have certain ones where yours has the um, all wheel drive and snow mode right here, make sure you plug that back in. There is another plug in. Um, any plugins that you might have, make sure you plug them back in. And then um, we did the two right down in there. Phillips heads. Now we're done. So now we can close and now you guys can see this all matches. Oh, that looks so good. Wow. So now I have kind of a complete matching interior. I love it. It seems like this one's a little bit darker than the um, one that I have right here, but I'm okay with that. It looks amazing. I think it looks really, really clean. Um, let's go ahead and grab that new um, shift knob and put the shift knob on. All right, here's it. Here's the final setup. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so nice. I'm in love with it. it looks so good. The Evo's interior has come together. It's come so far. I love, love, love the final edition um, doors cards. Those are probably my favorite. I love this new radio. We'll be doing a video where I have my gauges up on here, my boost gauges. Um, but this is what we came here for today, and look at that. That is so awesome. That is so good. I cannot believe that's an Evo 10. That looks so good. I love it. Look at that new uh, shift boot surround. Perfect. I love the knob. It makes it look really centered right in the middle. I actually like the chrome, to be honest. I was always wanting it all black, but the chrome here with the chrome knob and then the chrome dials, that looks really good. I did see that there are dials that you can get little black covers. I might get those in the future, but wow, this interior is freaking spot on oh my gosh it looks so good and again i've been trying to do a lot of black and red and i think this is really really come to, to cut some i can't talk come together especially since the car is um black and red on the exterior it looks really good i never did a video on this but i do have a nice little starter uh push button starter um you still have to crank it forward but it's really cool to replace the original one i think that looks really good with the red kind of like the the jet fighter um that looks awesome 
All right, so that's it for this video. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. I absolutely love this Evo. It's really coming together. Uh, again, I tell you guys this all the time. The Evo is a really good driver. Only one uh, daily driver. Only one bad uh, part about the Evo is, is that the gas mileage. But other than that, this is a great car. I highly recommend buying one. They're crazy fast. They're, they're in my opinion, they're pretty reliable so far. Um, and I'm loving it. I'm hoping to make a little bit more power soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.